Hello friends, my name is Manoj Kumaram from Corp IT. In this today video, we'll see how we can update our ESXi using the ESXi command. Okay, so this is my test ESXi server. So we'll, I will log in over here with my credential. Just to let you know, guys, this v, this ESXi is not connected to any vCenter. Let me just enter my password. This this is the current build that I am using. First of all, I will just enable the SSH. We'll click on the actions, we'll go to the service and we'll enable SSH. Once it enabled, we'll try to log in. We'll enter the password, we are here. Now we don't need that much. So we'll do that and here it goes. So first of all, we'll see the current version of our ESXi. And this is our current version. Now we'll run a command to enable the maintenance mode. So for that, I also write wrote this article. You uh, and I will make sure I will attach this in the different uh, in the description box for your reference. Okay. So this is the command that we'll use to enable the maintenance mode. So using this command, our maintenance mode is enabled. If you want to confirm, you can just go back over here and simply refresh it. And you can see there this our host is in maintenance mode so once we check the version we check uh, we also enable the maintenance mode we'll check for the available build that are available okay so we'll run this command so it will list out all the available update that where we can update on so this command will take some time to run let's wait for it to execute so as we can see here the, all the available build are listed over here. Okay, so as of now, I am at this version. Okay, so we'll go to this one. Okay, this is our build where we go upon. So for that, let's see what is the command. So this is the command. We'll copy that. And now it's asking for the profile. So our profile is this one, the standard one. We'll copy this. Control C, Control V. Now this command will take some time because it will fetch from the internet and it will update. So let's wait for some time. So once it will done, it shows something like that. The update completed successfully. We'll do a reboot. So as you can see here, it is updated now. Let's just do control Z. We also need to enable the SSH. And we can see our VMware version is currently up to date with the build that we want. So this is a small tutorial. Like using this, you can update your ASXI if it is connected to the internet. I already wrote one article where you can do it from the offline button. I will also attach to the article itself, so it will be easy for you. I hope you like this video. If you need any suggestion or if you are facing some issue, let me know over the comment section or you can also reach out to me over the Twitter. So that's all for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.